It's time for the briefing. Although, since we don't have any contact with HQ, it's not like this is an official mission. Anyway, it looks like the seizure of Tyler Island and the relief from Osea have been postponed. In the meantime, we just have to do what we can to survive. Since losing its capital city of Ferbanti, Eurusian forces have separated into smaller, autonomous factions. It looks like Eurusia's largest force and leading faction will pass through the area around this base. The space elevator is significant to them, so they're probably heading there. Should we intercept? Why? I doubt they're gonna start a fight now. Our top priority should be to get home. Let's go already. Yeah. It's not like we have the supplies, power, or even a real reason to put up a fight. But, what are we going to do if they bring the fight to us? We need to be ready to push them back. If we head inland from here towards Arusha, there's an old castle that's been converted into a stockpiling base. Shalaji Castle. It's currently occupied by some of the Arusian forces that broke off, but we need ammo and fuel. They appear to have converted a freeway into a runway, so we can expect them to have the capacity for air combat. But they'll be easier to handle than Arusha's lead faction. But we can't use all our aircraft to attack. The transport carrying the stolen supplies needs support. Okay, Strider Squadron. You head out first, and neuter the dogs at the stockpiling base. Rendezvous with Cyclops Squadron, who will bring the transport. Then we bring the supplies back to this base. Got it. Aircraft are our only threat. Sounds good. We'll make it. We're all gonna fly home. Together. Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. Ocean forces are in the region ahead. No allies here. No need to ID your target. We've set a number of priority targets, focusing on their anti-aircraft weaponry. Okay, team, get to work. Target locked. Unidentified aircraft, not sure of friend or foe. Fire anyway. We don't have time to be wondering if they're friendly or not. So, we capture this base and take the fuel and supplies. That's the plan, right, Trigger? if you want to live. That's how it was where I grew up. I was just double-checking mission orders, Hushin. Our anti-air guns are destroyed. Abandon and fall back to our rear position. Retreat! There are more vehicles along the road. They don't appear to be military. They're Arusian refugees. They must be fleeing since the conflict got worse. Unidentified aircraft. Identify at once or we'll open fire. What are you talking about? They already are firing on us. The enemy's confused. I know. We're all out of ammo. Don't give up. We're not going to lose our country again. So what's this faction split from the Erusian military? The autonomous state of Shalaji used to be a nation. The region has always leaned towards independence. Those who want to restore their homelands flock to it. Apparently, Nicole. their core consists of officers from Vosledge, which neighbor in Shalaji. Are they our enemies? Nicole. They're our enemies' enemy, but not our friends. They're wrong us! We're unable to use the SAMs! Help me! The resistance is strong. They seem to be desperate. Target hit! Oh, my God. 
up on the castle. Let's hurry up and capture this base so we can get its fuel and supplies. <laughs> Shit! I feel like we're a group of burglars. Don't say that. This is for our survival. Yeah, I know. Nickel. That's Shalaji Castle. Awesome. They're here already.
High speed projectile launch for enemy aircraft. I'm testing this aircraft. You must find your own sky. I can still help you. Don't waste your life. Dedicated to reclaiming that which you call home. The resupply went well. 
We should be okay on food and fuel reserves for a little while at least. Luckily, the rumor that the Erujian army is advancing nearby is only a rumor. There's no sign of them from the skies. Rumors, rumors, rumors. This is what happens when you lose communications. But we got one good fact. The plane trigger shot down was an advanced model of the XO2 Wyvern. It was developed in the last Continental War. Erugia had a lot up their sleeves. Apparently, they were even supposed to have Belkin aircraft back in the first war. What if Trigger couldn't shoot it down? Just thinking about it gives me chills. We're lucky to be here. In war, you never know what's lurking behind the curtains. But it looks like everything's loose now. A solid chain of command, rest periods after sorties, a battlefield where you know friend from foe. All of that's gone now, lost in a fog of confusion feels like a distant dream. Now, just how the hell are we gonna get out of this mess? When we got to the mainland, we found the space elevator's support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. There was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The factory had been converted to a production line for Erujian drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belka detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The Erujians, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day. I should have stopped then, for all our sakes. 
Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she meant everyone, including the princess. Like me, the princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she kept the war going. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it, and now they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka? Or for Arugia? My grandfather had only one wish, to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home, let alone the sky. The Black Forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother, we have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. My homeland. She's right. It feels so far away now. The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No, I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, right now, it's the root of this chaos. I wonder... Yes? I wonder... which path you would choose. When looking at Harling's mirror 